When we started this show two months ago, Business Monday, our aim was to build an all-round Christian. And so far we have achieved that. We have encouraged you at home and uh, you've been pursuing your business and you've been following some of the principles that have been discussed here. Welcome to the show. My name is Dennis and thank you for joining us. I am excited to host you again on this nice and good episode of Business Monday. Our guest today is going to surprise us. She has an interesting story. For once, we have had uh, a lady coming in on the show. Welcome. If you haven't subscribed, subscribed to our channel, AIC Riruta, kindly do as we progress. Thank you. Karibu sana, Mrs. Lee. Thank you so much. Asante sana kwa kuja. Now, uh, Mrs. Lee, yes. uh, tell us your full names and where you've come from. Uh, my full name is Kesia Nyokavi Mwangi. Mm -hmm. I was born in Deya uh, by a teacher, mm -hmm. and a strict teacher, mm -hmm. and a gracious mother. Mm -hmm. So my area, I grew up in Deya, and the village was sweet. We we are not many. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is Business Monday. And before we get into the business part of your life, your husband and you, mm. uh, how was it? How did you find yourself in Nairobi? When did you get married to start there? I got married in 1973. 1973? Yeah. Uh -huh. And we are blessed with five children, mm -hmm. four girls mm -hmm. and one boy. Okay. But unfortunately, uh, my son went to be in the Lord when he was 24 years Okay. So my four girls are there, uh -huh. and two are married, and I'm a grandmother to six children. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Now, uh, when did you come to Nairobi with your husband? Uh, we came to Nairobi in 1972. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how we started here at Satellite. Satellite? Yeah. Okay. So we have stayed at Satellite. We move on to... Nakuru. Oh, after you came to Satellite, you moved back to Nakuru? To Nakuru. Uh -huh. From Nakuru in 1978, we came back to Nairobi. Okay. And my husband was working in Nairobi City Council. Uh -huh. And I was working as a sales lady with a bookshop called mm -hmm. Wanye Bookshop. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had been working there mm -hmm. before we started business. Uh, how was the employment journey was? How, how, how long had you been employed? I was employed for... Before you started to business? Yeah, I was employed for 10 years mm -hmm. before we joined business with my husband. What about your husband? How my husband was working with the city council until he retired. Oh, okay. And then we start, he started business before he retired. Okay. So I was help, helping him. All right. Yeah. So now, tell us about the business. What was that first business that you did? Uh, the first business we did is... Solid waste management. Solid or, waste management. Or garbage. Kwa wale ambao wajui ni kuokota takataka. Uh -huh. Now, we started that business in 1996. 1996. With a pickup. Uh -huh. And it was so hard uh -huh. to convince people to we collect garbage and they pay. Out of all businesses, why this one? Why garbage collection? How did you venture into that field? Uh, my husband was introduced by uh, one of the real estates to, to go and collect garbage. Mm -hmm. When he started, he mm -hmm. said, ah, this is a business. Mm -hmm. Because before it was paying well. Mm -hmm. Before it was joined by so many, many people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So one day your husband gets a call or gets invited by this person in real estate yeah. na kamwambia nataka ufanye hii kazi ya kuchukua garbage yeah. and your husband accepted. Kabisa. Now you had a pickup ama you bought a pickup for the we, business. We, we we had a pickup before. Okay. All yeah. right. So we started with it. So he so he was still at work. He was still at work. But and you you are still at work. Uh, no. So now had you had left uh, the, the employment. Yeah. Okay. So now you are like the manager there. Yeah. Muliajiri watu. Tuliajiri watu. Uh -huh. Na tukajiri vijana. Uh -huh. Na nilikuwa kwa office sasa mimi ndio nilikuwa na kugua office. Mm -hmm. Na tukaendelea na kazi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So where were you disposing the garbage? Assuming you collect at plot A. Mulikuwa mnaipeleka wapi? 
Uh, zamani siku. kulikuwa so many empty spaces. Uh -huh. Kama hapa DOD, there was an empty space there. Mm -hmm. They used just to dump there. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, hakukuwa na mabomigi ya kudispose. Mm -hmm. And then we started disposing it at upper kathodeki. Oh. On the way to Odero. Yes. Yeah. Uh, garbage collection is a very, as the word says, it's garbage. It's yeah. very dirty. Yeah. <laughs> How did... The, how did you go around recruiting young men? Uh, when we call about three, three boys, uh -huh. they invited others. They have okay. been calling yes. every day, so many boys. Okay. And they were so much interested in doing the work. So that is 1996? 1996. 1996. So the business picked. Tell us about the journey. How was the journey? Uh, before we start, uh, after we started, uh -huh. it was very good it picked up very well uh -huh. na ikaendelea haraka sana 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 mm -hmm. na mpaka tukaanza sasa kununua maroli wow uh -huh. uh, kwa sababu kazi iliendelea kuwa mingi sana uh -huh. na before watu hawa kujua kazi ya takataka yeah. hata kawagore tumebeba sana uh -huh. although it charge was kuambia mtu umbebe takataka dio aripe uh -huh. walikuwa wengi walikuwa wanaona ni baya lakini for, kwa watu wengi wakaona ni mzuri uh -huh. kwa sababu hakuna pahali ya kuenda kutupa takataka uh -huh. maradlod uh -huh. so tukaanza hapo na tukaidea na hiyo kazi uh -huh. na hata waleo iko hata waleo iko eh, Mna, uh, tujulishe mnajulikana na jina gani uh, smart city cleaners smart city cleaners yeah. oh na bado biashara bado sasa iko it's bado biashara so, so, so mulianza biashara iliendelea kuwa kubwa mkaendelea kununua malori yes. na sa, wakati huu bado uh, bado vijana bado wanakuja you need people to drive you yeah. need people to collect so sai uh, is your husband still working at saila biashara inakuwa ama hii aliacha uh, my husband hafanyi kazi sasa siku hizo sasa ile kazi ilikuwa mingi haya alikuwa anafanya uh -huh. na tulikuwa tunafanya na watoto wetu okay oh. wale wana, wanamaliza kazi uh -huh. wana to join uh -huh. okay yeah all right kwa hivyo tukaendelea hivyo uh -huh. na watoto ah uh, hii biashara muliweza kuvencha kwa biashara zingine kwa sababu hii imekuwa kubwa maybe imepata fedha kidogo did you expand to other fields ah uh, wakati biashara tuliona ime peak uh -huh. tukanunua prod satellite satellite yeah uh -huh. Uh, tuka jega a few houses uh -huh. na siko tu hata warembo from the garbage, garbage collection business yeah, yeah. okay so bado so now hapa mko na nyumba mm -hmm. na hapa tena mko na biashara yeah. so now sasa wak, uli, sasa hii mambo ya kumanage nyumba how did you go around it who was now the manager of the houses? Some of these two are rent in the What are the two rent to? Yeah. Okay. Mm. How? To be. Because because of that, we are seeing that garbage collection is mingi. What we are made, we are engaged in your sector. We are not only in the sector of Zuri. How is it now eh, compared to those days? Squeeze the case of Sim Zuri, Sana. Because of what we are Kuja, we are going to do which is okay. Na wakateremusha bay. Oh. Ikiwa ulikuwa na lipisha 200, mm -hmm. kuna mwingine anakuja, anaida up to 100. Okay. So kazi kaendelea kuwa, na watu wakawa wengi, wengi sana. Nyi mulikuwa mna lipisha aje? Pa Kwa plot, sabab, ama mulikuwa mna hesabu pa e, e, unit? Etepe na unit. O unit in that plot? Ya, yeah. uh -huh. kuna walipisha, uh -huh. sasa tunakorekt pesa. At, at an average, kama nyumba yangu, ni, to, assuming ni kona flat yeah. ya mawe, mm. na ikona maybe around 50 units, munge lipisha pesa ngapi wakati huo? Wakati huo? Mm. Wakati huo? Wakati huo ilikuwa 200. 200 per ah, each unit? Pa, eh, per each unit. Kwa hivyo hapo ni 10,000. Yeah. Kwa hizo 50 units zangu. Yeah. So hizo pesa mulikuwa muna collect at the end of the month? Yeah, Ama, at na, the end of the month is. Okay. Yeah. Who was the one paying? Is it the tenant or the landlord? The landlord. So ten uh, landlord alikuwa na ongeza hawe malipo kwa tenant, tenant wanalipa yote alafu tenant na uh, landlord na wapatia. Yes. So now, so now competition imekuwa juu sasa. Yeah. Sa hii watu wanalipisha aje? Sa hii it depend kwa sababu mm -hmm. kuna pari tunalipa 
tunaripisha 500 okay na kuna wakati tulipewa estate kubwa kama Nyayo estate mm my yes so ikiwa ni Nyayo estate and SSF walikuwa nalipa uh-huh. there was those big companies uh-huh. umefanya kazi na wa, wa Chinese uh-huh. so tukawacha ta, kazi ya hapa uh, hapa Kawangore uh-huh. tukaingilia sasa town yes. kwa maya frat yes. na ma estate uh-huh. yeah uh, sasa by maybe around around maybe the year 2010 mlikuwa na kama ma lorry mangapi tulikuwa na four trucks four trucks yeah na sasa mko na ngapi sasa tuko na three trucks okay mm. kwa hivyo biashara ni kama imeenda chini kidogo biashara inaenda chini okay mm. ah mm. na bado nyumba bado ziko nyumba bado ziko mliongeza plot nyingine ama bado mko tu kwa hiyo the first one tuliongeza nyumba zingine oh nyumba zingine kwa yeah. that plot eh? yeah so now you are collecting the So how is how is your relationship with your tenants now? Kwa sababu sasa kumekuwa na hiyo most of our guests kumekuwa nao wamekuwa kwa hiyo biashara bado ya kukodisha nyumba. How is your tenant if you can tell us how is your tenant now that there is covid? Ah uh, wakati wa covid na nimewaambia nime ule yako na pesa si wasi 10. Mhm. Wale wako na pesa mm-hmm. wanalipa wanalipa mm-hmm. wale hawana pesa mm-hmm. wanalipa at their own mm-hmm. time hakuna mm-hmm. kuwasukuma mm-hmm. hata kuna mmoja tumempatia nyumba free mm-hmm. kwa sababu hana kazi mm-hmm. alichomekewa ni biashara yake kikomba oh. so tukampatia nyumba free mm-hmm. others kuna wale hawa, wako sawa yeah, yes e, Ah. Adawais uh-huh. wale wa, wako chini uh-huh. kuna wa, kama wasamba uh-huh. ni reduce price. Uh-huh. So wakalipa malaise. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nyumba zote ni ngapi? Nyumba zote ni 32. 32 houses. Mhm. Uh, Mjizjenga kwa mawe ama kwa mabati? Kwa mawe. Kwa mawe. Mm. Na hii biashara ya ni biashara unaweza advise mtu aingie. Hii biashara ya ya nyumba za kodisha. Ah, uh, naweza advise mtu. Mhm. Akae chini. Mm-hmm. Akiwa na prot. Mhm. Ah, uh, a plan. Mm-hmm. Si kwa muka one day and say man na nitajenga. Mhm. A plan mm-hmm. ajenge. Mm-hmm. Na akijenga kwa sababu watu wataendelea kuja na wataendelea yeah. kuwa wengi. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo nyumba business ya nyumba itaendelea. Yes. Eh, hakuna wakati nyumba itabiwa yeah. hakuna business hakuna ya nyumba yeah. kwa sababu lazima watu wakuje town mm-hmm. lazima watu waishi mm-hmm. kwa hivyo i can advise somebody mm-hmm. a plan na ajenge ah. na ajenge nyumba nzuri okay. ikiwezekana good mm. uh, umesema kitu na kujenga nyumba nzuri mm. na tunavyojua sana sana katika hizi Uh, hizi mitaa za mabanda kama Kawangware, mm. Kibera, nyumba hazijekangu vizuri. Mm. Lakini zako ni kama umejenga vizuri kwa sababu una accommodate watu. Yeah. Na so how is it una, una, unajenga nyumba nzuri na itaku gharama ya kujenga nyumba nzuri ni juu. Yes. Considering ya kujenga nyumba ambayo iko tu hivyo hivyo. Yes. Wewe hauoni kama wewe ndio unaumia? Uh, kwa sababu wale wanakuja. Uh-huh au at, wanataka nyumba mzuri. Yes. Najua kuna area wa nyumba ziko very expensive. Mm-hmm. So wakiona nyumba ni mzuri na is ni fair mm-hmm. wana, wanachukua nyumba na wahami haraka. Wanahama, eh hawahami haraka. Hawahami haraka. Eh hawahami haraka. So the, the garbage collection business bado inaendelea. Sasa hiyo yeah. umeachi hiyo mko nani ana manage? Eh uh, our last born daughter. Okay. Is Lucy Wairimo. Uh-huh. Amefanya Bcom. Okay. So ni yeye tu ni mtrustee hiyo job. Oh. Yeah. Na so katika hizi hii pandemic ya corona mm. how has it affected your businesses the two ya garbage collection. Ya garbage collection imekuwa affected so much. Uh-huh. Because of the hotels. Oh hotels. Yeah. Okay. So so many of them are closed. Kwa hivyo mlikuwa na wateja ambao walikuwa ni hoteli. Sana. Okay. Eh. Uh-huh. Kwa hivyo hawaja receive. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo iko chini. Okay. 
Eh, kasi ya garbage iko chini sana sana. Okay, okay. Mm. Na competitors wamekuwa wengi. Sana. Aya, tu, uh, tukimalizia kipindi ningetaka maybe kuna watu wengi ambao wamefutwa kazi. Yeah. Wameachishwa kazi, wengine mishahara imeenda chini. Mm kama wewe kwa sababu umekuwa kwa biashara kwa, kwa muda mrefu na you are quite elderly in terms of age mm. what is this that you can advise the young people that maybe mtu aliachishwa kazi what is this sana sana kuhusu finances ni nini hichi unazaambia watu ambao ni wachanga wa kidogo uh, nikitaka kuambia young ones mtu asiogope kwa sababu amefutwa Mm-hmm. Asione life ndiyo ameisha. Mm-hmm. Ajaribu hata ikiwa ni ka, kitu kadogo sana mm-hmm. aanze. Mm-hmm. Sasa mtu anaweza enda hata anunue uh, boga na aanze kuperekea watu mm-hmm. manyubani. Mm-hmm. Dio asi give up in life mm-hmm. kwa sababu wakati utakuja tu mm-hmm. na makazi itarudi. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo mtu asi give up kabisa mm-hmm. kabisa kabisa mm-hmm. na kuomba. Mm-hmm. Unajua kuna watu wanagipa hapo wanaenda kuiba. Mhm. Wewe mtu mdogo usiimbe. Mm-hmm. Enda ufanye kasi dogo mm-hmm. na Mungu atakuja uh, atakufanikisha. Kwa hizi biashara mbili kuna siku ambao umeshaipoteza pesa kiwango kubwa. As in mkaona hiyo ilikuwa maybe disaster maybe one of your trucks ilivaribika maybe nyumba what was it? Kuna disaster mshai face. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tulikuwa tunachukua garbage University of Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Na university hawajali kuripa ministry hiyo ya nini. So tulipotesha pesa mingi sana. A lot. Hata wale watu kulipwa. Na kandarasi ilipo pewano when the contract was given. Mm-hmm. Um, Muliandikiana ni pesa ngapi? Ya. Yeah. Lakini sasa malipo ya kacheleweshu wadi ya leo ijalipo. Mpaka wareo. Uh-huh. University kaendelea kiwa block uh-huh. paka waleo hawajaripa. Na sasa bado mna, lakini ham collect. Atu collect university. Muliachana naye. Mm. Kwa hivyo tuseme sana sana kazi yenu ni kucheleweshwa malipo. Eh kucheleweshwa malipo. Mhm. Ah hiyo ndio kazi baya sana sana. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu watu wengine hawajari. Mm-hmm. Na sana sana kama ministry kama university hawajari. Najua si ya mtu eh yeah. hawajali ni serikali mm, na kuna mali utapeleka serikali yeah. na, na unataka kazi na unataka na una, una hope atakulipa eh yeah. uh, biashara hii nyingine ya mak- uh, kuko, nyumba za kodisha ni which challenge is the biggest the charity like this time uh, watu hawana pesa mm-hmm. lakini wanajaribu mm-hmm. kwa hivyo kuna charity kila pahali mm-hmm na nyumba nyingi si nime a few mm-hmm. watu wametoka okay. wanaenda kutafuta nyumba chip bahari uh-huh. watatosheka uh-huh. eh yeah. nyumba zako ni za kiasi gani one bedroom two bedroom two bedroom two bedroom mm-hmm. two bedroom hapo walipisha pesa ngapi in case mm-hmm. mtu ambaye anatuangalilia saa hii bibi anazataka kuhama huko eh uh, they vary from 25000 25000 up to that up to that yeah. that is a two bedroom yeah. uko na one bedroom niko na one bedroom pesa ngapi 15000 15000 yeah haya sawa 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 mrs lee yes. uh, asante sana kwa kuja kwenye kipindi at least to encourage a lot of women who uh, uh, in business yeah. na maybe wangetaka kuingia kwa biashara mm. na wamekuwa na more wa kuingia kwa biashara yeah. Thank you so much for continuing watching us. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have Mrs. Lee on our show. She's a lady in business. Together with her husband, they run a garbage collection company and they also have some rental houses. Thank you so much for all the feedback that we've been receiving from you. We are excited that you've been watching us and you've been following us. And if I can go to your feedback on our last show, uh this is the show that we had uh, Santa he's in uh, the transport industry and uh, today in Africa media they say that what an encouragement Gabriel Kenyanjui congratulations Santa Triza Nana congratulations Santa kweli umetoka mbali I salute you Alfred Wainaina inspirational story right there goes to show there is nothing that God cannot do true mm, Samuel Oweru a friend to Santa we know him from uh, he's one he used to be one of the members here ha 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 tulikuwa bisiri tupeleka mechanic wa lorry ya jenga tabidha nene says very powerful
thank you for all of us who have been watching us even from abroad. We uh, thank you for being connected uh, with AIC Riruta. Kindly subscribe to our button for you to be receiving notification on when we upload something new. From here, AIC Riruta, we thank you for keeping it Business Monday. See you on the next show. My name is Dennis. God bless you.